scientists were stuck. They couldn't work out how dead atoms and molecules could become living cells. They had no answers to the great question, how did life begin? Applying their towering intellects, to the stupendous question, on how life began? They had a breakthrough, or so they thought. The breakthrough came in 1924, when two scientists, the Soviet scientist Alexander Oparin, and the English scientist John Haldane, independently arrived at the conclusion, that life must have sprung into being, from a primordial soup. Sorry about the soup. It was the best that I could do, when in a hurry. The primordial soup theory, would have warmed the heart of Charles Darwin. Charles had suggested, that there was a warm little pond, somewhere whence life arose. The primordial soup theory, goes something like this. Billions of years ago, there could have been, hypothetically speaking, lots of inorganic chemicals lying around on the Earth's surface, and in the atmosphere. These non-living chemicals were the ingredients for making the organic soup, from which life emerged. They contended, that sunlight, electrical storms and the other forces of nature, combined with the inherent chemical properties of dead molecules, to form organic compounds, such as amino acids. The necessary precursors for life. And so over millions of years, from this vast chemical soup, now composed of organic compounds, the first, primitive living cells emerged. Or so the theory goes. Inspired by the chemical soup theory, the scientists Stanley Miller and Harold Urey in 1953, made some primordial soup in their laboratory. Or so they thought. To prove to the world that, life could be made, in a test tube. Oh sorry. Excuse. The hyperbole, I am getting carried away by the sound of clinking test tubes. Well actually, they wanted to prove they could make organic compounds, such as amino acids in a test tube, then it would follow, that perhaps life could come from these organic compounds. When they succeeded in making some very small quantities of glycine and alanine, champagne corks were heard popping in laboratories all over the world. The origin of life scientists were overjoyed, at last the missing link, oops I mean, the missing cell had been discovered. But like all parties, the celebrations come to an end. Scientists soon realized, that Miller and Yuri had made some serious mistakes, in conducting their experiment. I'll explain them to you, in the next video.